iPads are considered to be productivity devices and one of the things you do when you want to be productive is of course to take notes. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the note taking experience on the iPad. And now let's just get started with the video. What's going on guys? This is Apple Fox channel here and today I want to talk about the iPads as I already mentioned. And as you probably know the iPad is a device uh, something between the iPhone which is actually the smartphone and the laptop. So it is kind of in between and many people still like to use it and I get it because it is a completely great device. But how you can use it productively if you want to take notes? Is it actually or does it really pay off in case you want to buy it just for the school, for the note taking, for your work? Is it going to pay off? This is the question I would like to answer in today's video and hopefully make it clear for you. So in case you are deciding if you want to get the iPad or if you have one and you're not sure how to be productive with it then this video is for you. If this is your first time seeing this iPad being in my hand, then it means that you're seeing my video for the first time. And if this is true, you should start by pressing the subscribe button down below under the video and you will not miss any future updates for the iOS, iPad coverage, as well as some Apple Watch and iPhone videos. So make sure to do that and come back to watch the video. Listen to this. It just keeps making these random noises. I have no idea what's going on. The very same music plays uh, randomly throughout the day. I have no idea what to do with this. I tried to reset the device. I tried pretty much everything to do with this, but it's still, it's, it's all the same. So I have no idea what to do with this. But anyways, it has nothing to do with the video. The application we all have on our iOS devices is this notes application that we all have on our iPads and iPhones. And we should definitely start by this application. So here we are inside the notes application from Apple. And as you can see, here's the new note that I have just created. As you can see at the top, you can see the date. So today is the February 19th, 2018. And the time, as you can see, 11.21 a.m. And if you want to start typing, there is literally nothing that separates you from doing it. So basically start typing what you want to take notes of. It doesn't really matter, it's so easy and you shouldn't really worry about that. But what many people want to know about are the additional features that you have here. So let's for example take a look at this plus icon. So we have four additional features. So we can scan documents, take photo or video, you can actually export a photo or video from your library, from the photos that have already been taken through your camera, and also add a sketch. So let's take a look at the add sketch option right now. So here it is. As you can see, at the bottom we have the color selection and we have the pen selection right here. We can also bring up the roller, which is super cool and you can move it around. It's so nice. You can even see the degrees right here. You can see that it works really nice and now I can move out the roller and it looks so nice. I can move it like this. You can actually erase all of this if you don't need it. But anyways, this is how the sketch feature works. You can even swipe like this to pick another color if you are not satisfied with what you have here. But anyways, it's so nice. I just really like it. Here we go and let's hit done. And as you can see, the note already contains the sketch that I have just managed to do. So it's as easy as that. Not only you can add the sketch right here in this white area, but you can also just sketch anywhere. So if you hit on this pen icon at the lower right corner and pretty much choose the very same thing, but you have less colors available. But anyways, let's take a look at the green color. And I can actually write right here. I can actually sketch in the notes taking area. So it's kind of nice because it's not in that white separated area, the sketchbook or whatever that is, but you can immediately sketch in the notes. But let's continue with the features right here. So let's hit on a plus icon and you can actually take photo or video. So it moves you to the camera and I can snap a photo of this just like that. And I can use the photo and it will be pasted into the note taking section. So another option we have is to scan documents. And if you click on it, you will also be redirected to the camera. And here you have to bring up some kind of paper or some kind of document you want to scan. If this is just a magazine, it's not going to work well. But if you have a paper with some stuff printed out, it's going to be working really well. The other option we have here is this check icon. This is what appeared when I pressed on it. And now you can sort of like write a to-do list or some checklist. So you can write shopping list in here. You can write some to-do list as I already mentioned. It's so nice. And when you are done with this, you just press like this and it indicates that you have done that task. Here you also have this tab which actually works as a grid and you can actually insert grid if you really need to. I mean, it's not really necessary for me, but there are people who may want to do that. 
So as you can see, you can put words into that grid. You have the option to copy the table, share it, convert it to text, or delete it at all. So make sure to delete it if you don't really need it. This icon right here means that you can paste what you've copied before. And if you select it, you can actually click on this tab right here and it's gonna turn it into underline, into bold or this italics. You can also type in all of these emojis, which is completely usual. We use them every day. So it's not something what I should be talking about in deep because you know it is possible, but you can paste on any of them right here. I have chosen the text to be italics and underline at the same time, also bold. But what in case you are still not satisfied with the stock notes app? Well, then you have to go to the Apple store and search for notes and there are plenty of options you can pick from. I personally like the Microsoft OneNote and the Google Keep. As you can see, these are the only applications that I have already downloaded in the past. But also Evernote is really cool, even though as you can see, I have not used it in the past. I don't really think that it is good for me, but for many people it can be good because the synchronization is the key and you can actually download Evernote on pretty much every single device, including Android smartphones. You can also get it on a computer, on Windows, or pretty much anywhere. So if you want to be synchronized, you gotta go for the Google Keep or the Evernote or Microsoft OneNote. But if you only use the Apple products, then these stock notes app will be definitely a good thing for you. But no matter which app you're using, you're always going to be using the keyboard on the iPad. You can choose it if you want it to be in a vertical position or in the horizontal, but that of course is up to you. But if you are in this position, what I also recommend you to do is to swipe like this and you can create two keyboards. It's the very same thing, but it is separated. So when you type in like this, you don't have to stretch your thumbs all the way here. It's so comfortable to do it like that. But when you have it in this position, you have one major advantage because you can use this flick keyboard. So if you want to go to the zero character, you can just swipe like this and you're there. And for example, if you want to go to the brackets, you have to go like this and you have it there. So it's really useful and I just really like it this way. Also, in case you made the typo at the beginning, you can use this method, which will actually show up the magnifying glass right here. And you can actually put the cursor anywhere you want. So I go like this, or you can use two of your fingers and swipe on the keyboard and place the cursor wherever you want. This is also really comfortable to use. It doesn't matter which note taking app you are using, but you can always use or you can take use of this cool feature. So if you go for the numbers, as you can see, you can use the flick keyboard, or if you have it like this, you can actually hold down to this tab and go to the three and let it go. It can also happen to you that the keyboard will be glitched out, but as you can see, it works kind of nice. So. It's sort of like a nice effect. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about is the dictation feature, which you can enable. You don't have to type that stuff in and uh, it will be typed in automatically. As I was talking about the sketching and all of the writing with your finger, it's so comfortable to do it. But what's even better is to use the Apple Pencil. It's not supported on every single iPad. The older iPads will probably not able to do it. But if you have the iPad Pro and you want to go for the Apple Pencil, then I only recommend you to do it because you can use it really well. You can do so much stuff with that and it's so cool, but it's also kind of expensive. So I'm not sure if you want to pay that amount of money for a pencil, but if you are willing to do that, then it is only going to be a good experience when taking notes. And just like with the Apple Pencil, which is also an accessory you can buy for your iPad, you can also go for the keyboard, which is also kind of expensive, but you can get it right here. It is not something that everybody will go ahead and buy, but still it is great that it's possible to get it. So that would be the end of today's video guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching and hopefully I made it clear for you in case you are deciding if you want to get the iPad and note taking is really important for you. And if you already have the iPad, uh, hopefully I showed you some of the cool tips and tricks that you probably didn't know about. And if I did and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to let me know that you liked it. And also subscribe for more content like this. Have a nice day and see you in the next video guys. Peace out.